grandmas. They're always worried about us, always making sure that we are healthy and well fed. Right? No! Grandmother's always loving you and making sure that you are well fed is, sadly, not true for all the grandmas. Rather, it's a stereotype formed after tons of shared experiences between people who have nice grandmothers. But where does this stereotype come from? After some in-depth research, I found that grandmothers' roles are actually different in Western and other cultures. Specifically, I found this book, titled Grandparents in Cultural Context, written by a professor in the University of New Mexico named, and I'm going to try my best here, Ziarat Hossein. In the book, he illustrates the fact that Western grandparents use a hands-off approach and helps out their grandkids when asked, while in some other cultures, like the Eastern culture, they use a hands-on approach and almost acts like a second pair of parents as they care for their grandkids. However, even though the approaches are different, I believe the similarity between the two can point us in the right direction of the origin of such a stereotype, which is the fact that in both cultures, grandmothers care for their grandchildren, meaning that the root of the stereotype of grandmothers feeding you lots of food is no other than the culture that we come from. But how is this stereotype so prevalent? Although not as common as themes of romance, Grandmothers are actually pretty common in media. We can find many examples of loving grandmas in movies like Coco, Lorax, and Totoro, which all show grandmothers who care for the younger generation very much and wishes only the best for them. This stereotype is further extended by the internet through the usage of memes. For example, there's this meme. Grandma, I'm not really hungry, just make me one meatball please. And the grandma holding a huge meatball. Just one, she said. Ha 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 Then there's this meme. Me. Don't cook too much, I've eaten already. Grandma. Okay love, just a snack. Grandma with a whole pan full of food. <laughs> and of course, there's this one. When you tell mom you're hungry, it's just some fruits. When you tell grandma you're hungry, a whole table full of food. Anyways, my point is that there are tons of grandma memes which all share the theme of them offering you food. All you have to do is google grandma food memes and you can see all of the memes. But Jonathan, you might ask, if all these evidence supports that grandmas care for you and give you food, doesn't that make it some sort of universal truth? Nope. Just as we look to the media before, we'll look there once again. In the game Granny, the ogre mother is in no way kind. In fact, that granny even tries to hit you with her large stick! <coughs> even though the example is fictional, it proves that there are exceptions to the large number of nice grandmothers who feed you food. This also relates to the fact that the stereotype of grandmothers making sure that you are well fed can be seen as toxic, because it sets high standards that some grandmothers just can't reach either because of their economic status, or because they aren't caring to their grandchildren, both of which leads to the disappointment of the kids. As you can see, even though grandmothers worry about you having enough food all the time it's very common, it is a toxic stereotype that has been formed and strengthened throughout the years. Just know, you should be thankful if you have a nice grandmother who treats you nicely and makes sure you stay fed, but if you don't have such a nice grandmother, Know that they are human too, and you shouldn't hold them to such standards.